so today we just got an Echo Spot and I'm going to unbox it. So right before I we got the Echo Spot, I was debating between this and the Echo Show and I almost ordered that one but I decided to go with the Spot since I've wanted the Spot since um, it first came out. I thought it was a really cute, interesting design where it's a circle and you get to have a screen. All right, so let's open it up. The packaging shows ver tells you various things that it can do um, and various other things that you might not know about it. And also it does pair with other things such as Spotify and Pandora, Audible, NPR, and other things that you can use for the spot. So let's open this up. You open it up and your spot is right there. It's so cute. Oh. Ah. All right, in this box here you get your cable, your AC adapter. And your instruction manual. So I'm gonna put the box down. Alright, so as you can see, this is a very small, interesting shape. It's like um, it's like three quarters of a circle, maybe a little bit less. Um, and it's round, the bottom is flat, and I do see that they have stands for this if you want to be a little bit more unique with how you set this up. On the top there's a plus minus button for um, adjusting the volume. And there's a screen protector on the top that I'm going to take off. Um, and your audio output. So if you want to connect this to a speaker, you can. Or if you want to plug your phone in, you can as well. So let's get our Echo Spot plugged in. Alright, so I just plugged it in, and as you can see, it's loading. I'm going to take the protection off. Now it does have an instruction manual like I just said earlier. Hello. Oh, hello. Ready for setup. Okay. So, first it'll ask you to select the device's language. So I'm going to pick English. And then I'm going to plug in the Wi-Fi. Now everyone's Wi-Fi password is different, so I'm going to put mine in. Oh, you can type on it. Oh, it's touch. So now I put it, my Wi-Fi in, and we're going to wait for it to connect. What's next? You then put your Amazon account in. So I just confirmed with the time zone, wherever you are in the, in the nation or in the world, it'll make sure it's correct. So now it asks for your device's name. It gives you the standard of your name and then Echo Spot. You can of course change that in the Amazon app. And then it has a nice intro, so I'm going to push play. Introducing Amazon Echo Spot. A stylish, compact Echo with a screen that's designed to fit anywhere. Use room-to-room -room calling to check in on the family. And now, you can easily call most numbers of the U.S., Canada, or Mexico from your Echo device to their home or mobile phone at no additional cost. You can automate your smart home using the Alexa app. After setting up your compatible devices, just create a routine that will help you do multiple things with one phrase. For example, say, Alexa. Good night. Enjoy your new Echo Spot. All right, so we just finished the intro. So as you can see, that is the main clock face that we have. You can change the clock faces. Um, it's very cool. All right, so if you want to change the face of your screen or any settings, just say, Alexa, show settings. Here's the settings. So here you can go scroll through and find your settings. 
Um, I'm going to click display because I want to change the face. You can set a photo slideshow and the brightness and choose adaptive brightness which automatically adjusts the screen brightness based on the available light. So I don't think this is the setting I was looking for. I think I'm looking for home and clock. That was my second choice. Home and clock. All right, theme. Okay, choose a theme for your clock and home screen. So I'm going to click that. And there are five modes. You got modern, playful, photography, classic, and personal photos. So let's see what modern looks like. Okay, there, that's an analog clock. So that's the second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. Six, seven, and the last one. So I'm going to be honest, I don't really like those. So let's see what else there is. Right now, this is the standard one I have. So I'm just going to keep that and see what's in playful. Oh, so you have a digital clock with flamingos in the background. Another digital clock. An analog with a flowery theme, uh, an analog clock that has um, the planets, that's kind of hard to read, not going to lie. A digital clock with mountains, digital clock with a flowery theme once again, analog with an owl, and a uh, digital one that's pretty big actually, that's a nice one, um, with like a paint a splatter in the back. So now we're going to go to photography, see what they have. So there's a digital clock with desserts in the background, uh, beach grass uh, with another digital clock. I like the digital clocks a little bit better than analog. So here's a close-up of the peacock one um, with a digital clock. A flamingo, a close-up of a flamingo with a digital clock, um, blurred street lights with a digital clock, and um, some more lights. I've noticed each of these different themes has about seven or eight different faces that you can choose from, which is very nice. The ability to customize is there. So we're going to go to classic now, which of course seems to be a little bit more of analog clocks. Now that's an interesting looking one. I like that one. Yep. Very analog clock-like. And then there's personal photos where um, you get to upload what you background you would like through your phone from your Alexa app. That's a great way to customize, add pictures of your family, and enjoy yourself. So I'm going to go back to Playful and uh, get to the garden one with the digital clock, since I like that a little bit better. So um, we have used an Amazon Echo since they first came out, and we also now have a couple Amazon Dots around the house. So I thought it was a great time to be able to get one with a visual feature like the spot. I mentioned earlier I was going back and forth between that and the show and I decided on the spot since it would be easier to fit in the kitchen or a family room. Might get the show later. But this one is a great unique um, piece to place in uh, the kitchen. I think that's where I'm going to put it because it shows you just about everything you need including the weather. Like you see right there, the weather is right there. So I can walk in the kitchen, know how it is outside instead of having to ask. All right, so we're going to play some music through the, do uh, the spot. As you can 
see there's a great volume coming out of the spot, so it almost seems like you have a great speaker system coming out. Your song and cover of that song is displayed on the spot as it's playing. And you can see where it's playing from as well. Alexa, go home. So when you tell her that, that's when you get back to the regular face of um, your screen. Now when you get the spot, it does come with a booklet that does say, Ask Alexa. So you can ask her anything dealing with your smart home, her skills, voice shopping, fun and games, or use Music Unlimited through Amazon or Audible. You can also call and message anyone with a compatible Echo device or the Alexa app on their phone. You can also use your Echo Spot to call most numbers for free. So let's see if we can play some Jeopardy. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy! Thanks, Johnny, and welcome, players. Do you want to start the Jeopardy round? Yes. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining us again. Now, let's see how well you do today. Today's first category is Poets and Poetry in Harlem. This poet wrote, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Who is Richard Allison? No, the correct response was, who is Langston Hughes? <laughs> Do you want the next one? No. <laughs> yes. See you next time. Oh. Um, with her skills, you can add even more capabilities to her. You can order from Domino's, request a Lyft or Uber, play Jeopardy like we just did. Or you can even do that through the app. Call an Uber or Lyft through her. Oh my goodness, that is so handy. So let's get her to play a video. Alexa, play a video. Playing top result. So Alexa does play some really clear videos. Unfortunately, I'm afraid to put me up here with uh, without having a copyright violation. But you are willing, you are able to watch many videos under this screen here in really crystal clear um, viewing. It's it's amazing. And as you, if you can see now, even the display itself is really nice. So with her, you can do some voice shopping. So you can tell her to add stuff to your cart or order things. So I'm gonna ask her where a few things I've ordered are. Alexa, where's my stuff? Here are your shipments. A shipment for an order placed Friday, August 3rd should arrive tomorrow. A shipment for an order placed Thursday, June 21st should arrive Thursday, August 9th. As you can see, each item that is expected to come pops up on the screen and it tells you in writing when it will arrive. I think that's really nice to see. Alexa, tell me a joke. Where did Napoleon keep his armies? In his sleeveys. Her jokes are really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but they give you something to entertain yourself for. Something does come up on the screen when you say, or when you ask her that as well. You can also ask her to play a game. So Alexa, let's play a game. 
Ooh, it's 90 degrees outside. Alexa, let's play a game. Sure, I have many types of games. If you want to know more about a game, you can ask me for more information like what it is or what ratings it has. Would you like to try Westworld, The Maze, or would you like to pick a game category? Kids games. Sure, here are some kids games. Do you want to try Freeze Dancers? What is that? Dance in lots of funny ways and freeze when the music stops. <laughs> Great for kids and the whole family. Would you like to try it? Yes. Great. Here's Freeze Dancers. Whammo! Welcome to Freeze Dancers. Dance while the music plays. Freeze when the music stops. Let's warm up with an easy one. Start dancing. Ooh, you gotta pay more attention. Hold hands and dance together. <laughs> Alexa, go home. Aw, oh, man! Gotta find some other Freeze Dancers. Alexa? Tell me the news. Here's your flash briefing. From the New York Times. From the New York Times, I'm Michael Warbuck. This is the day. What's up? Alexa, next. In Fox News. Back on the stand, I'm Rich Dennison, Fox News. The Alexa, News. next. In NPR News. Tanzania. Alexa, Everybody. next. In weather, right now in Lorden, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. That's all from your flash briefing. As I mentioned earlier, I was really trying to choose between the spot and the show, and I looked at a comparison chart online, and we saw that a, the, sh the show does a lot of what the spot can do. But the spot doesn't have Dolby speakers, but you can also play videos, control smart home devices, and make calls just like the show. So, not much of a change. There is a bigger screen when it comes to the show, but the spot is just as convenient where you can place it on your coffee table or in the kitchen. Or nightstand. So, that is all we have today for the Amazon Echo Spot. Uh, can't wait to continue using this product as it is going to be a great addition to our house. Pl um, check the description for more information. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.